Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. And today we find ourselves on International Drive at the brand new Disney store, which just opened up recently on International Drive. You know, if you find yourself in this area of Florida, which is close to the Universal and SeaWorld, right off of International Drive, we have, this, have the largest McDonald's in the world. They just opened the store up, which is really cool. Love the marquee behind me, it's super cool at night. So come along, we'll show you the brand new Disney store right here on International Drive. Carrie's actually looking for a ticket shirt. Hopefully we'll find that for her and have some fun along the way. Stay tuned. So you'll see this as you drive along I-4, it's exit 74. And right over there, which you really can't see too well, it's the largest McDonald's in the world. This gift shop is right here with this big marquee. So it's literally impossible to miss, especially at night. So uh, this is what it looks like. We parked over this way. There's a garage you could park at but lots of places to park on International Drive. So let's check it out. It's kind of weird that Disney opened up this store, I guess not really in the proximity, but since they closed most of the Disney stores across the country and uh, across the world, as a matter of fact, I guess it wasn't, you know, it wasn't viable. I worked at the Disney store for a couple of years in New York City and it was a great experience. It's, I thought they were great because it kind of keeps the neighborhood people, uh, you know, it, gives you, it keeps that love going. A lot of times you can't afford to come down to Florida or go to California or whatever, but you can go to your local Disney store and it gives you that love of the brand, which I always had, thankfully, because we had stores in Staten Island and stores in the city. And uh, But you know what? It's a great idea. So anytime you got Disney in the picture, it's usually always a good idea. So let's see what's inside the store. So I've done a couple of videos on this. You can check my channel, but... If you do happen to come to this Disney store, this is literally the largest McDonald's in the world. It's been so for the longest time. It, uh, for a while, the guy who owned this one was in competition back in the late 80s uh, when the Soviet Union was still a thing. There was a big store over there, but this is the largest one in the world. And uh, this will be one of your guide markers too. So you can go to Disney and if you want to see the biggest McDonald's in the world, you can do that too. Ah, so here you go. This is really nice. This is nice little sign outside and you're right across from the orlando wheel bj's restaurant of course this is i drive as i told you lots of stuff going on in i drive i hear that's a really good burger place to move your burgers right there but this is really cool a lot of good photo ops and uh the store is open every day you can see it on the door right there every day from 11 to 7. so not late hours but I guess, like I said, this is great if you forget to, you go to the parks and you forget something, you can cop in on here and we got the 50th anniversary going on currently right now. We're, we're talking, we're in November 15th of 2022 and that celebration is going to be going on up until March of 2023. So if you forget something, you want to grab it in here, you can. So let's go in. So let's get the first impression. Carrie's looking for that ticket shirt. I'm imagining they have a lot of 50th anniversary stuff. Hello, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Happy to be here. No, well, happy, but we are happy to be here. Our first time. Well, oh. but never the last. Where's your first button? Where's the first visit button? Uh, first visit in this store, but well, not, no, not no, the but first. That counts. Really? Do you have them? I'll take one if you have one. Yeah, of course. Where really? Is, All right. I'm getting a first visitor's button. Yeah. Awesome. That's so nice of you. Ah, oh, it's a Disney touch. Wow, this is a beautiful store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Take care. We're visiting guys. from Sarasota, so we're well, happy welcome, to be here. Welcome, welcome. Come back and see us anytime, please. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate please. that. You're welcome. Nice to nice to meet you. We're so glad you came. All right, we're happy to be here. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. That's a nice treat. After giving out so many of them in my life, great to have the first visit button to the Disney store. I didn't think I qualified, but I did apparently. So, all right, let's check out the store. So it's nice, you could come in here and buy Disney tickets. And what's really cute is I like the signage here. They did a really good job with the signage. Um, you got cozy, which is kind of like the cute little things and you got cute things. Then you have Dream and Pixar. We'll get a closer view on that stuff. This is all the 50th anniversary stuff. Wow. Good stuff here. Little retro there, Mickey for the 20th. Yeah. 
course you got your 50th anniversary cokes i highly recommend that you can get your magic bands here i gotta get myself another one of those haven't had one of those in quite some time but yeah definitely like i showed you guys the other night these are the 50th anniversary cokes and uh, they're gonna be worth some money so you might want to hold on to that but yeah a lot of great things here at well the mickey candies i mean like i said perfect if you just uh, couldn't make your way back to Disney Springs. A lot of the merchandise here is what you're going to see in Disney Springs. I don't think there's anything exclusive to this store. But uh, you have a lot, a lot of great items. Like a little smattering for everybody. You got uh, Marvel. You got baby strollers. And of course, they take the Disney gift cards here. You could buy Disney tickets. And I think you can do um, Disney Vacation Club here as well. But this is what I was telling you, very, I love the signage. Me being an old Hallmark guy, I love, um, as they call Synergy, uh, Marvel here. Nice stuff there. Big Marvel guy. Tune in for our podcast on Monorail Tales, if you can. We do a Marvel telecast every, uh, every month. And Monorail Tales, we, one of the co-hosts, we do great Disney shows. Tune in. Nice. How are you liking it so far, dear? Nice. Look what I got for you. A Disney button. First time visitor. Oh, yay. Your first time first visitor. First time visit. I got a button. Yay. Any Tigger shirts yet? No, I don't. I have a Aw. And there you go. You can get your mouse ears right here and your bags. What's really cool is, like I was telling you, you could do your Disney Vacation Club, and they've got a virtual reality thing right here. So if you want to buy... Um, a vacation club somewhere like yesterday we're at the Riviera um, but let's just say well, let's do Animal Kingdom Lodge you just press that select it oh. so I picked the Grand Floridian and as you can see you can do a virtual tour like you would say for a real estate thing or whatever and you could just go right in and go in through the doors I'm not going to show you this whole thing but this gives you a whole idea as to um, what's, what you have in store. So yeah, it's um, a little bit of everything in here. You got some Christmas stuff up here too. Got some nice books. They got the nice binders and this is really cool. They got the nice gilding on it with the gold gilding. That's really cool. And look at that if you're, a, well, look at that. Cinderella fan and Snow White fan. Look at that. Beautiful. All these little activity books. It's a really nice, nice, clean store. Um, who knows? Maybe this will re reignite the brand. I really think they should come back with the Disney stores. It's, it's a tremendous loss, I think, not having the Disney stores. They're going retro with some of these games here. Wow, a Haunted Mansion chess set. How about that? Awesome. Wow. Oh man, I have to, there's a shirt that I have to buy. I'm getting this one. I was checking for this one in Disney Springs this time, but they were out of it. It's the Lando Calrissian Space Cape shirt. Simply the best in all of Bespin. I have to get that, and I'm a red guy too. So, oh my God, this is great. This is one of the coolest things I think here. It's a thousand piece puzzle. It's the from the vault collection, but it's actually the Disney map. So I think that's pretty cool. It's a good way of teaching the kids their way around the park. Heaven forbid anybody gets lost, you can kind of have a meeting spot, but you could learn it from that. Love that, that's really awesome. Yeah, really, really nice clean store. Really, really like it a lot. Beautiful. No hidden Mickeys, I don't see, but nice. And it's nice, you got your Disney quotes, look at that. Laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, dreams are forever. No question about that. And lastly, look at this, you got luggage for the 50th anniversary too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, so I have to say, I was very impressed with the store. Um, there's Carrie coming out from behind us. The only ding I have for the store is maybe two, is that there's no exclusive merchandise for the store. And the reason for that is because they're actually part of Disney World, Walt Disney World. So these are Walt Disney World cast members. They're not Disney Store cast members. So that, that makes sense. But the larger ding that I have for it, sadly, is that and this is an ambiance thing, and this comes from a Disney nerd, um, from a guy who worked in the Times Square Disney store for a couple of years. When you walk in, they're playing regular music, and by regular music, 
kind of like the music you hear or the the songs you'd hear walking through like a Macy's backstage or you know to me it was missing and I'm sure you heard that when I was doing the video to me we should have some kind of Disney music going on there's so much going on with with Disney right now I mean you could do Marvel music you could do Star Wars music you could do park music um, I really think that's you know and I, and I asked them about it and they were saying that they're doing that on purpose because they figure international drive has a different clientele and whatever but you know what I don't really agree with that I have to say uh, I remember when um, God way back when when Epcot first opened they made it very sophisticated in the very beginning and there wasn't enough like hamburgers and there wasn't enough regular t-shirts and that's what people really want that's what guests really want um, you want to come in and feel like you're at Disney because that again that was what I was talking to you about before about the whole coming to a Disney store in your neighborhood. If you couldn't afford to go down to Florida or California, you had that Disney feel. You could buy your tickets, you could plan your vacation. So all that stuff you could do here, but it's just missing the music. So other than that, I think it's great. It's a wonderful destination. International Drive is fantastic. Always loved it. Always one of my favorite places to come and eat and stop by and visit all the great things here. So um, hope you come by and uh, real easy to, to find this Disney store. I'm right on the corner of a Sand Lake and International Drive. So I love you guys. Please give me some feedback. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And tell me what you think. If you've ever been here, do you want to come here? Um, any ideas for future videos, let me know. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, and I'll see you real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.